next thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to create a whole new page. So what you do is you hit the one that says menu and then you can go to the one that actually says edit page and then back to menu. So so far as menu, edit page, back to menu and you're going to either do add a new page, you know, so I'm just going to say add a new page. I'm going to name my new page Lydia. Lou. Lydia. And I'm going to call it Lydia Greetings. And I'm going to say Save. Alright, so I created a new page. Now I'm going to make this page do something. And this is an entirely new page. Nothing to do with the Words for Life vocabulary, really. But I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say Create a New Button. And I'm going to have that button say Hello. And I'm going to add a space after the Hello. You could add a picture. So I'm going to add a picture of someone saying hello. Alright. Then I'm just going to say save. Continue saving. And now i got this hello. Now I'm going to do one more thing with this. Usually you'd just be done and this page would be sitting in there. But we'd, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to touch it again. Whoops, I'm, and then I'm going to say copy this button and style. Then I'm going to say to go here. And I'm going to say paste the button. Here, paste the button. Here, paste the button. What I'm doing is I'm just making a copy of hello in all these locations. All right, so now I'm done. All right, so now we have to tell that page to come up. And we're actually going to tell that page not just to come up, but to stay up. So I'm going to hit the sentence button. And then I'm going to tell the corner button here take me to that page. So I'm going to create a new button here. Really the label wouldn't matter but I'm just going to call it greetings. Whoops. Greetings. And I, and I don't want it to say anything when it goes there. So I'm just going to have a label there. And this is where it's new where it comes down here at the very bottom take out where it says speak message because you don't need that. And what you're not doing is this normally you always visit a, a page but this time what we're going to actually do is navigate to that location. So navigate, and then we're going to have to tell it to navigate to Lydia. They're alphabetical. Um, Lydia greetings. No animation. Say save. And then just say done. And so from now on, when Lydia hits the sentence key, the talk key and goes to greetings, it takes her to this page where this whole area hello, hello, hello. says hello. And that's because, remember, it's because she wants to not have to worry about how precise she is. She just wants to hit that whole corner and get a hello easily. She has a little bit of an access problem. And the one thing we have to add to this page is we have to have a, have a way back. And I'm going to go back in the corner here, and I'm just going to say create a new button. And I'm going to tell that button... You don't have to worry about a label or anything there. I guess the label should say go back. And then I don't want it to speak anything. So now I'm going to go down to the tool again at the very bottom. And the tool I'm going to insert, take out speak message, it really probably wouldn't matter because there's no message there. And I'm going to add navigate back to home. All right, and no animation. Hit save. Hit done. Now my little friend Lydia has a way. She's here. She is in Words for Life, and she's very good. She understands what? the concept of what she's doing, and she knows she's about to go to the hallway. So she hits talk. She goes to greetings. It locks her into a page. Now she can make these four say, "What's your phone number?" and these four say, "Have a nice day," and whatever she wants her greetings to be. Hello. And then when she's done, she can go back to here. Now this is the same thing she could do for a speech. She could hit talk and then one of these could say speech and then she could have the first line of her speech the second line of her speech the third line sort of checkerboard them across so when she got done with her speech she would just say go back so this isn't normally something we talk about with words for life because remember the beginning users we really need them to learn that every motor plan has a unique word attached to it this sort of breaks all those rules but sometimes you have a part in a play or a christmas program and especially if you're a child or a young adult or an adult who understands why they're locking their page in, then it's perfectly appropriate because they understand why it's doing what they're doing. So this should give Lydia the ability to be very 
fast, Allow. not worrying about Allow. where she's hitting because she's a little bit of an access problem, but have a larger square. And what you've also learned how to do is how to set a page and how to get back out of that page. All right, that's how you link a page and set a page where you might want to stay on that page for some reason.